who speak about me at every single rally it didn't really matter where he was uh, right. sometimes multiple times in a day um, as he had held his clan rallies throughout the country all right man torture talk that was your good friend ilhan omar ilhan omar ilhan omar that's a beautiful woman though i ain't gonna lie she is a beautiful woman. Beautiful, beautiful woman. But she crazy. See, <clears throat> before I get into that, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the page. Listen. Omar, Miss Omar. Beautiful woman, but crazy. You call Trump Riley's clan rallies so let me get this right <clears throat> let me get this right i don't get this right so all the black people that support trump all the black people that support trump they're clan members so all these clan rallies that you call clan rallies right so all these people are clansmen all of them. They're all Klansmen, right? This is so crazy. They're all Klansmen. Because Donald Trump is the white supremacist. He's the KKK supremacist. He's the he's the top of the line. He's the, the grand wizard. Donald Trump. And all his supporters are Klan members. And some of them are black. A good percentage of people that go to these rallies... Clan rallies are black. <laughs> so wait, let me get this right. Because obviously you don't know the history of the clan, right? You don't know the history of the clan. So the clan don't like anybody that is outside of their race. But you can see them on camera hugging and holding and chilling and drinking and having a good time with black people. <laughs> but the Klan, but it's a Klan rally. Oh my God, these people, listen, let me explain something to y'all, man. I swear, I would never, ever, ever be a Democrat, ever. I would never be a Democrat, never. These people are so divisive, it's not even funny. Like, very divisive people. Never in my life have I ever seen anything remotely close to what this society is doing now. Every one of these top-ranking politician, Democrat, po Democratic politicians are very divisive you cannot tell someone that we need to come together but yet and still you're telling people that they're a part of a hateful group called the kkk the clan but you want them to come together with you so wait so these people are clansmen but you want them to come together with you you see how this works? It's like, all you guys do is talk out the side of your neck. You never, ever, ever have any type of uh, something good to say. This is why I could never follow the Democratic Party. Because everything they say is negative. Everything. Not one time. Not one time. Unless they're giving something. Unless they're, they were given something. Not one time I ever seen a Democratic top ranking politician, not not I'm talking about the AOCs and Illa Omars and, and Pelosi and Schumer's and all of them like uh, I'm talking about them, right? They don't never come out and say anything positive. So this just provides some kind everything they say is negative, right? Everything. So you got people like like AOC, always saying something negative. Every chance she gets, she says something negative. 
And these people have a following, right? They can say, hey, listen, we don't need to do any of this division anymore. All this name calling is over with. We got we 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 believe Joe Biden is the is the winner, so we have to we have to try to get the country to come together. Let's do that. Forget everything else. We believe that Joe Biden is going to be the president, so let's just come together. All right, let's work together. Let's stop all these. Let's stop all this and say Black Lives Matter. Let's let's work together. All of us work together, and let's try to end so-called systemic racism or whatever you want to call it. Let's just let's just try our best to get around this. And we all move together, right? But no, what they do is they call people names and they say Klan rallies. Now, you're saying Donald Trump Klan rally. Now, what are you, who, who are these people you're talking about? You're talking about regular people. That's a million, they said it was a million people there. I believe probably was a little less, maybe a little more, who knows? But it was a lot of people there. So you call all those people Klansmen, right? That's one. Two, that's very offensive, especially the people who are not Klansmen. But you don't think about that. You don't think about that. You just talk. Don't think about that. Like that's like that's like that's like someone saying, You from the Middle East. That's like saying everybody from the Middle East, these terrorists. All them terrorists from the Middle East. How would you feel about somebody saying something like that? So you basically saying if you're white, you're a Klansman if you support Donald Trump. You're a Klansman. Or if you're black, you're stupid because you support a man who is a white supremacist. Donald Trump's not on record to be a white supremacist. He doesn't, he never been a part of the KKK. He never been a, a grand wizard or a grand dragon. He never been none of those. He never had, you never seen a patch on Donald Trump. He never, listen, KKK members. Or, or grand, um, grand wizards or clansmen, they do not care. This is what you got to understand. They don't care. They will say that they're clansmen. They don't care. They don't care. This is, this is what y'all got to understand. Like, And this is what makes me so mad about these politicians who, who say this stuff. And they just say this because they want to make you mad. They just want to cause division. They say this. How are you going to say something like that and then try to cause a division and then you want people to come together? Like, no. Those people, all the people that you call cleansmen, you think that they're going to want to join you? Like, no. So you're telling me over 70 million people voted for Donald Trump. 70 million. What are you saying? Are you saying all these people were racist? Like, what? What? Like, there's nobody in there that voted for Donald Trump that are good people. Not one of them. Because they have to be racist. Like, all these news outlets who saying this stuff, like, oh, um, I think these people need to be held accountable. Accountable for what? What are you what are you gonna hold them accountable for? Having a different opinion from you? What what? What are you gonna hold them accountable for? That's the question that you need to ask these people when they say they need to be held accountable. What are you gonna hold them accountable for? For what? What? This is what we live. Listen, we live in the United States of America. Usually it's three. It's a three party system, but most of it's two parties. The two party system. Some people vote Democrat and some people vote Republican. Some people are independent. So you're telling people basically if they have a difference of an opinion or a different way of thinking that you're going to punish them or they should be punished. For what? So, you, so everybody should think on the same lines. That's what you're saying. Like. It makes no sense. It's just retarded to me. All this is just retarded. Like, listen, I'm going to be the first to say that every Republican ain't great. Every one of them ain't great. Let's just say that. And I'm not always saying I'm not a Republican. You know what I'm saying? Every Republican ain't great. Every Democrat ain't bad. But for the most part, the top, the top ranking Democrats, the ones that's in the media and the ones that's the mouthpiece, they're horrible. They're horrible. Like, since when has we ever, have we ever, ever allowed the news media to call the president a racist? Like, since when? It just makes no sense to me. And it's like, you got people like Obama says something uh, yesterday, or I seen on 60 Minutes. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I seen a piece of what he said. <clears throat> and again, here go Obama, man. Like, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I like I like the ideology of Obama and Michelle, two black pe people 
being in the White House. I thought that that was a great thing. And I always will say that. I thought that was a great thing that black kids can see that and they can, you know, feel as though that they can be anything they want. That was a very inspiring moment. Don't get me wrong. Like it was. Now, policy wise, that's a different argument when it comes to Obama. He had some good things, but he also had a lot of bad things and he did a lot of bad stuff. But I ain't going to get into that. Let's just, just talk about <clears throat> Obama. You got to ask yourself. Y'all have to ask yourself. Why do they want Trump to concede so bad? Why? Why do they want Trump to concede so bad? Every one of these politicians, he should just concede. He should just concede. He should concede. You know why? And I'm going to tell you why. This is how I feel now. This is not a fact, but this is what I feel. I feel as though that they know that there's something wrong. And if he concedes, then basically, it, whatever's wrong doesn't matter. If he doesn't concede and he challenges it, he could probably win. And that's the problem. See, the Democrats, they do things, but they never fully think things out. And I think that they always feel like they're 10 steps ahead of people when they probably 10 steps behind. I believe that Trump is a master mind. Now, people might think that that's crazy, but I believe he's a mastermind. I believe that he he kind of knows certain things. He kind of knows where to go, where to walk, where to talk, where to say. What, what, what. He knows that. And this is the reason why you have a lot of these news outlets going out of business because they don't have anything else to talk about no more. He provided them content. Now, basically, they're going to go back to COVID, which to me, now that the vaccine is coming, who knows how long that's going to be. So either way, back to the, the normal topic, Miss Omar you got to ask yourself, you can't ask people to be a part of something and then call name and or call names and then ask them to be a part of something like it just that just doesn't sound good. And I think you're a very beautiful woman. I ain't going to lie. Like you are very fine. Like you're a very beautiful woman, but you're crazy. You're crazy. A lot of beautiful women are crazy. And I hate to say that, but a lot of beautiful women are crazy. You know what I'm saying? But you're crazy. If you're calling like just instead of just saying, instead of just saying, yeah, uh, uh, I wish, I wish, uh, I wish people would wake up and see Donald Trump for what he is, but I'm not going to get on here and insult people like that. But see, you have to go extreme. You have to just go to the extreme. You have to go straight to it because that's the only way people are going to hear you because you might seem weak as a woman if you don't go to the extreme. It's like, it's crazy to me. But I think what you said was crazy. And I think you should definitely think about certain things that you said. You said a lot of stuff that's crazy. A lot of stuff. And I think people were just, they just fascinated because you're a woman in power. And it's like, no, call her out on her bullshit. Like, that was crazy. Like, she says a lot of crazy things about the country. And let me say this, and this I'm going to get off this. I'm going to get off this. It's going, it's going to end when I say this. Listen. A good percentage of Americans love America. Let's just put that out there. Because a lot of y'all totally believe that everybody hates America. Just because you love your country. <clears throat> excuse me. Just because you love your country. Doesn't mean you're racist. That's just that's just that. Because a lot of y'all people who hate the country, y'all won't go live nowhere else. Y'all stay y'all asses here. Black, white, Asian, Chinese, whatever you want to call it. Y'all stay here. Y'all won't go running anywhere else. So what I'm saying to y'all is most people who love this country, love this country. And guess who else loves this country? Donald Trump. And guess who loves this country? Donald Trump supporters. And guess who loves this country? People who, who uh, love the country. <laughs> What else, what else can you say? There are people who love America. And people like like AOC and Ilha Omar and all these other people, I'm not going to say that they don't love America, but I am going to say that it appears that they don't love America or they love their version of what they think America should, America should be. That's that. We're not robots. Everybody has a difference of opinion. 
and stop getting out here saying things and calling people names. Like, that's not cool. Like, you want to be cool, Miss 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 Omar? You want to be cool? You want to be this beautiful, cool woman? Then stop calling people names. Yeah, you know I mean, just just stick to the stick to the script. Well, I ain't gonna say stick to the script because that's kind of wrong. But I'm gonna say, just stop calling people names. You know what I mean? Don't you talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. People love America. <laughs> just get over it. People love America. Get over it.